So let's talk about uh, birds that are good for ground feeders. Like I've noticed that we can't, the doves are not going to come to the feeders unless we have a really big feeder, a big platform. So what, what kind of birds are going to want ground food and what ones are good for the, you know, the feeders that are up off the ground? Remember the grackles we talked about? Mm -hmm. They're really good at on the ground. They'll come up to feeders when they get there, but they'll go around. The doves certainly are ground feeders. Uh, Rufus-sided towhees and the other towhees in the U.S., they love to scratch around on the ground. Uh, the towhee gives away its heritage of being in a sparrow clan by jumping forward, scratching once or twice, and jumping back. It's a telltale sign. And uh, so they're down there scratching around the ground looking for weed seeds and, and insects on the ground. Uh, you'll see uh, most birds will go to the ground occasionally to feed, and some of them more than others. Doves spend their life on the ground. And uh, you'll see the towhees down there. A lot of the sparrow clans spend a lot of time foraging for insects on the ground. So any other bird feeding tips that you might have, particularly in the fall, that you think maybe we should talk about? Yeah, it's, if you want to keep the birds happy in the fall, you know, of course the Coles bird seed, we've worked on that for years to get the, the ingredients right that makes good general all-around feeding. Uh, like sunflower meats are very important, and the Coles special feeder has a little bit of everything with a lot of sunflower meats in it. That gives, as I said, the birds who don't, eat shells, can, you can't crack them. A wren's a good example, they can't crack a shell, but they can certainly pick up a sunflower meat because it's like a bug. And so you put that out, you put the shells out, so the cardinals have no trouble with shells. All the finches have no trouble with shells. So you just put out good quality seed. I hear a lot about, oh, what do I feed now? It's winter time as opposed to summertime. Pretty much the same thing, a good quality blend or several feeders with straight seeds in them. And also, if you want to change something, as you get into the wintertime, if you put out suet, suet's always a good food for the birds, especially in the wintertime. It's got a lot of fat in it. All the birds can eat it. As you get into the warm months, you may want to use what they call suet dough, which has a little more cornmeal and all that, so it doesn't tend to melt or get too soft. As you get into the wintertime, you can use the regular suets that don't have the dough mix in it. And because they have a higher fat content, they may tend to melt in, in July, but as you get into the fall, they're fine. Right. And that's a good food to put out for the birds. And speaking of um, birds that you want to attract, I had seen on, you know, there's these neighborhood uh, association things where uh, that are out online, and somebody had put today that their woodpecker, had, there had been a woodpecker that pecked at their siding so much they were asking for somebody, you know, who could do siding replacement. What do you do if you have a woodpecker that's got a relentless on your house? Oh, gee, that's, 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 a, that's a tough one, and that happens to people. It tends to happen more on houses that look more like old wood. Oh, really? The grays, the, the, the tan and brown houses. Uh, Just get a blue house, right? Yeah, your house blue away. houses don't get attacked very often. <laughs> but they'll do that and uh, trying to drill a nesting cavity. In some cases, they're looking for food if they hear an insect, in it, especially in an edge around a window or something. If there's an insect in there, maybe a, a carpenter bee has drilled a hole, they'll pound directly on that. But if they're knocking a big round hole, they're looking for a nesting cavity. They can start in it, on it now, just about. They get ready for the springtime before they can use it. They'll get in and maybe they'll nest in the side of your house. If, there's not a lot you can do if they're if they're starting to damage your house, you can put a tarp on that area. They can't land yeah. on it. They can't peck in it. They'll get discouraged and go. You can go out and throw some ice cubes at them or shoot the hose at them every now and then yeah. just to discourage them. That's somewhat effective. And other than that, enjoy them and repair the house later. <laughs> well, it sounds like that was their attitude.